Craig and welcome to Is This News. Um, okay, so the first video we've got up is the NFL bad lip reading. Uh, essentially it's um, shots from uh, American football, NFL, um, and they, they're genuine shots and people are kind of narrating over it in silly voices. Um, the idea is that potentially you can slip in other words to what someone's saying and the lip sync is surprising you know, how, how accurate it can be when you change someone's words and you can make completely different sentences. Um, which is a great idea and when it works it's brilliant, it, it's, you know, it's funny and you, you, know, you can kind of be watching and go, ooh how did they do that, it's amazing. Unfortunately they just kind of slipped in just random things, it's like someone going, you know, there's a kind of a big beefy American footballer talking to someone and then they're kind of saying something along the lines, hey that's herring has fallen out of my hair and it just kind of doesn't work it's just all random stuff it's clever if you're actually saying sentences and you're kind of changing what they're saying but you're just chucking random things in that vaguely fit what they're saying that's kind of going against the point of it so it doesn't really work and it goes on far too long okay the next one is a pop promo for um it, the song is called Don't You Worry Child and it's by uh, the Swedish House Mafia and it's a nice little pop promo, a dude on a piano and someone singing. Um, that's about it, uh, there's nothing particularly exciting about the, uh, about the promo itself, I guess uh, lots of fans have gone and liked the song, it's quite a nice song. Um, the guy playing the piano, the only interesting thing is it's a really small piano, a little bit, it put me in mind of um, Charlie Brown, that little guy who played this tiny little piano in Charlie Brown. And to be fair, that probably would have been a bit better if they'd actually animated, um, made their own little animation of Charlie Brown. I know copyright would be a problem, but you know, that might be quite nice and quite sweet and you know, take people back to uh, their childhood. I think that would have been a better idea, obviously they wouldn't. Um, but if it had been, I think that would have got even more hits and more people interested. As it is, it's fine. Okay, this next one I had high hopes for, it's Tina Fey, um, it kind of says Ask Tina and it's about Twitter, I guess um, she kind of does these little blogs where whether people actually ask her questions or she kind of pretends people have asked her questions and then kind of talks about it. Um, unfortunately I don't really know what it was, I don't know if it's supposed to be serious or funny because it's neither, um, she's, it's a bit cringy, she seems desperately trying to be funny about a subject that you know, she's trying to be passionate about. and clearly doesn't really care about and you can tell she's getting a little bit de desperate because she keeps then chucking in the f-bomb to try and be a bit kind of cutting edge and Whoa, saying the, you, these are people are fucking boring and it's just a little bit cringy and for someone that, like her, someone talented like her, you think why would you bother putting this on? It's, it's, it's not funny, it's not clever, it's just, it's not big and it's not clever, it's just a little bit foul mouth. And finally, this one, I'm really trying to be positive about some of these, but this one is just random. Something about iron for breakfast and this guy gets a bag and puts some cereal in and some water in and then gets a, a magnet and shoves it on the top and you kind of switch it about a bit and go, oh look, there's iron filings in it. And that's it. I don't know whether you're, it's supposed to imply that there are genuinely iron filings in cereal or whether they're kind of taking that, um, kind of the idea of, oh, get some iron in your breakfast and oh, look, we're hilariously putting iron in but then no one eats it or does anything with it and it's just kind of uh, random and it's not kind of science, you know, this clever science experiment, it's not this kind of gross out thing, it's just kind of, it was really strange and maybe it's worth having a look just to kind of try and figure out, so in fact I would like you to watch it, try and figure out exactly what the point of it is and then tell us about it, comment about it and maybe you will be looking at it again, mm, you, you idiot, this is obviously what it's about and you can put me to shame, please do because it baffled me. Okay, well that's all we've got time for. That is our four videos um, for this time. Uh, join me next time. Hopefully we'll have something a little bit better so I can be a little bit positive about it. Um, um, one day we will get something positive. I will be raving about something, if the fingers crossed. Um, but please leave your comments uh, below. I want to hear some of these comments. And subscribe above. And I will see you next time. Thanks.